in a dicky pot. I picked the popcorn costume because I wanted to step far out of my comfort zone. Wow, was that outstanding. But my favorite part so far is flirting with Nick. I just want to kiss Nick. Whoa. I'm not the only one around here looking like a snack. I wasn't always a healthy treat. Major soap opera vibes. When I was a tiny colonel, I suffered from a bizarre condition. I couldn't eat or sleep. I developed severe anxiety and felt like I was in an emotional prison. <laughs> Until I dug deep in my pop core and found my voice, which led me away from the drama to the other side. Hair crimper, you were with Cube, is definitely 80s. Yes, because of my voice, I survived. And tonight, I can serve you up another delicious performance. You know, the beauty of this show is they can't show you their emotions with their face. So you have to hear it in the voice. All of the emotion, all the quivering, the power, the strength, the vulnerability all yeah. came through in that performance. Outstanding. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm going to say this. Your performance was better than mine. <laughs> uh, when you look at the outfit, you're like, I'm at an amusement park. And then the voice is incredible and takes you to church yeah all right well tonight we're revealing major clues about our group a singers but in this age of social distancing who's willing to hand deliver our panel these important messages well oh. what's happening oh. oh what's happening now oh my gosh look oh there it is wow, wow. It's our clue dropping drone. That's pretty awesome. This is how I want my dinner delivered. No. Is that Saturn? It's a planet. All right, well, Popcorn, tell us about your clue. The second rock from the sun may be far away. Venus. But it should bring you closer to me. Ah. Oh. Does that mean anything to you guys? Oh, yeah, it's Harry Styles. It's not, it's not <laughs> Harry Styles. That was his Styles. song. The song was by Harry Styles. Okay. Do you get dumber every season? <laughs> Just because you and Robin went to the same plant-themed clothing store <laughs> doesn't mean I'm dumber now. <laughs> So anyway, the clues in this one, there was the 80s stuff and then the uh, LGBTQ part. Maybe it's Dionne Warwick, but then that's more 70s. And, and I also think on the mouse from last she season. She was on the show. Dummy. Uh, I did not watch last season. Um, you were there. You were like.
like on like No, three times. I don't watch anything Ken is on. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> All right. Here's why I think it's Gloria Gaynor because I will survive is big in the uh, gay community. That's a good one. And it said I survived in the package. Yeah. Your guesses couldn't be more ridiculous. I think it's Katy Perry, and I'll tell you why. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Katy Perry is known for her crazy costumes. She is dressed up in the past like Dumbo, a cupcake, and hand sanitizer. Very relevant. And she spent most of 2020 craving her favorite pregnant food, Popcorn, dig it. <laughs> I beg to differ. You know, last time I thought Tina Turner, because her voice is legendary, you seem like a legend. But then there was also clues, especially on the drone, we saw Venus. I thought maybe there's a little fun in the name. She also played in a kind of a soapy TV show, which was Ugly Betty. So I'm thinking maybe this could be Vanessa Williams. Oh, oh good guess. pretty good. Those could be Vanessa's legs. Mm, maybe. Oh, she has a beautiful Vanessa. voice. Right. <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, you are a legendary soul, and uh, I can't wait to find out who you are. Amazing. Thank you, King. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the popcorn. Hey, guys. So i Jenner, and I'm not a judge on any of the shows, but I feel like I enjoy watching the shows. So, if you do too, make sure you subscribe, turn on recap, and hit that button below. And listen to Courtney and Kim, because they think so too. Literally just hit the button below. Oh my god, don't be ridiculous. Ha 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 ha.